Yeah, afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Afternoon, sir. Okay. A pleasant good afternoon to you. Welcome to Conversations with Fathers. Uh, it was a nice evening, you know. Um, yeah, so everybody all right? Are you, are you still, Jerry? Come on. Uh, are you still what? But, sir? Yeah, man. The family is doing well. Yeah, Come Mikey? On. Yes, man. Okay, man. Uh, conversation with fathers. So, gentlemen, we want to look at this whole thing of fatherhood. So, want to have a conversation with us. Um, yeah, let us, let us begin at the beginning, right? Where's the beginning? All of us, you're, you're, you're all fathers, right? Definitely. Right? Yeah. Good, good. All right, so one of the things we want to look at is this whole thing of fatherhood. And one, mm -hmm. of the questions, one of the first questions I want to ask you is what is your, what would you say? You're all fathers now for probably uh, 10 years, probably 15, some 16, whatever years. <laughs> yes. One of the questions I want to ask you is what it is that informs how you approach fatherhood. What are some of the, in other words, what are some of the, the role models that you have come in, you know, you, you, some of the persons you have seen, some fathers you have seen, that you probably would see as your mentor or person, you, 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 you model your life after, your old father. Yeah, Mikey. Yes, sir. Um, growing up um, in the country, up in Lawrence Tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I grew up um, with a letter, a letter parents around. Mm. But, father. Mm. Yes, man, father. That's a father. You know, some good, uh, mm -hmm. some bad, uh, you know, some dip display different character. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. But, but there was this father um, who lived next door to me. Yes, yes. Why I wonder how oh, we father so many children and, and take care of them. Yes, yes. Ye yes, man. It was about um he had about eight children. Yes. And he never have a, a job like you, you and I at the time. In yes, yes. Office. It was just a feel feel and his character. Yes. But he was a very dedicated father. Mm -hmm. you know, and I used to go down to his house because it was right next door to me. Yes. And why may I tell you that man example as a father? Or he take yeah. care of his children and take care of um extended um children like like, like yeah. even me. Yes, you know? Yes. yes man, he was a loving man, he was a caring man and he, he was a committed man. Yeah, yeah, yeah because yes. all of his children was for one lady. Yes, yes. You know, and so, from early you see that. Mm. Yes, man, and from early, you know, and it's always um say, look here man. You must you must have respect you know for, for your parents you know you must yes, have respect yes. um for your for your parents and you know growing up um with him in my teenage years you know he mm -hmm. really have a a hold on me and say boy you know so boy this man is a good father yeah, and when yeah. I grow up I want to be a dedicated father just like him a responsible mm -hmm. father mm -hmm. you know because um he never waver he provided food every evening from bush as you make us say you know. Mm -hmm, he's even mm -hmm. coming with him banana, mm -hmm. him, him cackle him beside him, and whatever he takes home, is not only his children alone that um, benefited from it. Other yeah, children yeah. around around the area, including myself. Mm -hmm. So that man boy mm -hmm. have a have a have a hole on me, and so why, you know, if I grow up and get the chance to be a father, I want to be a dedicated father like, like that man. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mike. Thank you. So, so Jerry, the same question for you too. We, 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 we are which, which man is it? Which father is it that you thought that you don't want to be just like him? I want to model him. Mm. Well, my, my, mm. my father of eight of us. Mm. I, I am the, I am the oldest. Yes, yes. And growing up with, you know, small siblings, it, it, <laughs> I tell you, it, it was such a blessing. But my father was one of the greatest role models. Um, yeah, yeah. Growing up, watching my father, you know, every morning, you know, seeing my mother, you know, goodbye or later, heading off to work, you know, have so much of us, you know, later in the evening, I see him come again. You know, food is here. You know, mommy start look after food and, 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 and stuff like that. You know, anything him have. That's where our brother Mikey just um, say a while ago. You know, if him got in a little sweet, him now been only for, uh, for us as his, as, as his children, but you know, for persons, 
living in yeah, the yeah. same tenement yard. It's a big tenement yard. Yeah, you know, so yeah. basically look after everybody. And going and seeing my father and my mother, you know, made a big commitment in terms of um, they decided to, to take it to the altar and, you know, getting married. Yeah. You know, it, it, was a, it was a great thing for me. It, it was inspiring, always there. Most of the time, daddy is at work, but in my heart, I know that daddy always try to provide and he always try to correct. They're not going to get wrong so easily from my, from my father. You're not going to get right so easily from my father. My father took the mm -hmm. time. If, if, if you do something bad, I'm going to punish you. And he's going to give you some good licking. My grandfather also, who I grew up with, was also a, a, a good old model. Mm -hmm. you know, take care of him family. You know, my grandmother my, and, and my grandfather, the, both of them. You know, the time I go over, you can't see them, I communicate, them laugh, them smile. Man, mm -hmm. if I encourage me, especially my grandfather. Bye. You know, that man and, you know, follow after my footsteps and all those things. And mm -hmm. you can't tell yourself, one woman, you know, take care yeah, of her. Yeah. Like, you see me, I take care of my grandmother. So those are the person who really inspired me. Yeah, you know, yeah, growing yeah. up as a, as a, as a, as a young youth. Mm. Well, well, big thing, big thing. All right, so, so you're a little youth and you grow up and you turn big man now, right? You're, you're now a big man now. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. You remember, I will, I will take you back probably to far, far, you know? Do you remember the first time that you had the, the inclination or you heard that you were going to be a Oh, my. Emotions. What was happening? Mike, you. What was happening? The first time. All right. Yeah. Um, um, yes, ma. Yeah, yes, ma. With the mother, the mother of my um, of my two um, first uh, first children. Yeah. You know, she wanted um to to have baby at a early early age, but I decided that why well, I'd already. Had. This was about um when I was about um twenty five. Yeah. You know, living together. You know. But I never read it because I want to be in a place that I am ready. If it's even halfway to take care of the, the, um, the family financially, I yeah, don't yeah. want to venture into our fatherhood without knowing that boy, I cannot um, maintain uh, um, that um, child. Because growing up, I have it hard. You know, I see where boy, um, my grandmother struggled. We'll get back to that yeah. later. Yeah. But I yeah. see where my grandmother struggled to take, to take care of all of us. You know, mm -hmm. and I said to myself, I said, why, you know, I don't already it. Every, every year she said to me that, um, at this year, I said, no, man, wait. <laughs> you know? Yes, wait, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. That time, why, at that time, I just got work that we are, we are, we are presently working on. Yeah, yeah. Just yes, like man. Yeah, yes, man, don't tell, you know. And what, what I never read it, but I started to plan in my mind. And said that um, whenever time I'm ready, you know, yeah. at least I have the expectation. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and I can recall that I, I said to her that I think I'm ready. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that is what I would say, uh, four years inside the relationship. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think I'm ready because I'm at a better place, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I said, and, and then, you know, when she told me that um, it seems like um, she's pregnant. Boy, it was a joyful feeling. Joyful because feeling. all of my friends around me, you see them um, having their sons and daughters, you know, yeah, son and yeah. daughter walking with and yeah. taking out in the morning instead of a walk out. I want to be one of those fathers. Like yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. man. Yeah, man. I want to be one of those fathers who hold that child and walk out and let people see, 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 see that, you know, things are going. You know, yeah, but, yeah. but it, it was a, a good feeling. A and I put time. in the work. I put mm -hmm. in the work um, with the mother, you know, yeah, yeah. to, to oh, help her to have a, um, yes, man. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah man, a good, um, a, um, a good delivery, you know, a lot of hard work behind the scene in, 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 you know, in terms of planning, um, not just for me alone, but also for the mother. For because the mother. you cannot just, just, just stand for the child alone, you know. Yeah, really. yeah man, and, and my brother, growing up with my grandmother, started early to be that responsible, um, responsible person. Good, good, good. At the early teenage age, I was the eldest one in the home. I you was know, a boy or a girl country, you know. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but look here. When you were choosing the fathers, whatever I choose, so boy, who are the fathers? <laughs> you guys would be the eldest in the family, you know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 all right. It's so, a blessing. Yeah, yeah. Yes, man. 
<laughs> Mr. Sabuda, you yeah. heard. The first time you heard that you're going to be a father. When oh you jump to the center, yo, yo, <laughs> what, what, what you did? <laughs> what, what, what you words, did? words, the words cannot describe. Um, I remember that, I remember when my wife and I married it, about two years after, because we, we made a commitment to Eva. You know, we are going to just enjoy each other a little. You know, for about oh, yeah. two years. You know, we could just yeah. take, take it slow and take time. Yeah, man. And I remember that two years passed. You know, my, my, a good friend of mine, um, man and wife, you know, we heard that they were pregnant. And I said, wow, a good thing that you know, man. Mm. So this thing, you know, this thing start come over me and I said, boy, moms. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, man. I said, no, man. You know, the, all of us got married at the same time. And I said, no, man, babes. Mm. You know, boy, feel like we're ready now, you know. And boy, you know, we just trust the Lord and you know, a couple months after, we found out that, 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 that she was pregnant. Boy, I mean, I tell you, I was the happiest man in the world and still is the happiest man in the world right now. It, yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it brings such a sense of, of joy and, 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 and a good feeling that, that you get when you find out, boy, you are becoming a father, right. a, 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 a father. God has opened the door for you. He has given you not only the ability to become a father, but he has opened the door unto you to, 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 to raise somebody. You might not know if it's a boy or a, a girl you get, but God has blessed us with three wonderful children. You know, mm. two boys and one girl. The eldest, my son Isaiah is 19. My second son, Matthew, is 15. Mm. And my, my daughter, who's the smallest, is the queen of the... the, of, of the, of the the lot she is seven years of age so it was a good feeling and even now i am still enjoying our basking in that wonderful feeling this is good yeah so so yeah what you saying to me you know i feel like you don't run i know i don't know if you run go you know i feel like this is overwhelming that this, this can't manage you know all joy that, that's what you're saying <laughs> that, that's me. Some, some people i don't think some people you know are, are the benefit of that you know the joy thing yeah, but you know it's a it's a good thing, man. It's a good yeah. feeling, you know, when you know as a man, you know, you you know that the father. And, and um, you know, yeah. And Fonsla, yeah. um yeah. you know, as some would reflect about the joy, you know, yeah. we, it was like me. So we, and yeah, I told a lot of people, all of my friends and my co-workers, yeah. you know yeah. the boy, you know, you know, you know, you know the boy, why, you know, things are going for me. Yeah, you know, why, you know, people yeah. start to say, why Michael, if I put in your stepman, we still say, you know, you know, you know, and I just wish that all, um, father, you know, when they find, um, found out that the boy, the, the all man, when they found out mm. that boy, the lady, um, that they, yeah. they saw into, get pregnant, yeah. they must celebrate. Yeah, you know, yeah, because a lot of father, a lot of man out there would like to be in their position. Yeah, and 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 I find it very difficult, you know, for that um for that process to happen. You know, so it's a joyful feelings, you know, then and it still can be the same way, you know. And I, and, I, and I do agree with you, and I do agree with you, you know, um, Sir Michael, um, just to end up on what you said, um, it, a man can be a father, but it's not the father can be man. That is something you know, man, man, real man need to need to understand. It it, it doesn't only bring that sense of, of 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 joy, but it make you feel like say boy, um, you feel complete. You feel complete to say you feel satisfied. Say yes, so, yes, yeah. man. Um, this is why I'm here. You know, not only to have a wife, but to have a a, a, a family. Yeah. You know, yeah, to call to call your daughter or your son. You know, uh, mm. no, Part of you. Yeah, man. Reproduce. It's, 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 a, it's a good thing. It's a good yeah, yeah. thing. And I and I truly give give God thanks for it. Amen. So, yeah. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Yeah, man. So so one of the other questions I I I'd want to ask is this that you both of you seem to have children from one spectrum from one spectrum <laughs> of people. Some very old and then you're young, 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 yes, young. Right. Okay. <laughs> How do you father in a context like that? Because you have an adult with you now, still living in you, know, or you father an adult, as opposed to your father a child. 
you know, how, how you do that balance. Tell us, you know, as we continue with conversations with fans. Mm. Um, yeah, go on, Mike. Yes, um, presently, I must go back a little. Um, where my son is at, at now, at six years, years old, my first child, um, when we, when the mother and, and when the mother decided um, decided um, to to separate from me, the child was six. So, okay. so the memory of the six is in my head. I, I never get the chance yeah. to be a primary a primary um father. Oh, so never get the chance yeah. to be a primary father involved. You know, yeah. I never get the chance, and it it really you know it really have a negative impact the children them and, and also me because. The pain of not having them around yeah. to, to do that fatherhood to, to them, to um, present myself as a man that I'm supposed to be in your life. Mikey, hold on a little, Mikey. Mikey, but man not feel them things there. It's just man who feel that. No, man. man. You know, no, man. With you, the child is with you or not. It, yeah, it my does. brother. My brother. Yeah, tell look me, here. Tell me. Yeah. Look here. Man of have, um, have feelings. Man go through depression. So, you, you know, man go through isolation. Because you see, say, brother Oga and, and all my brothers are um, watching and probably some sisters. You know, yeah. you know, you see when you're attached to something or someone, yeah. and that yeah. thing just rip yeah. apart from you so yeah. unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it puts you in a place that you start to question yourself and say, Boy, I wonder for my fault. You know, and what could yeah. I do? Well, what could I do um different to allow yeah. this relationship with my children and their mother to continue? You know, so it was not a soul searching and but what they say is when people want to move on, you know, they do some people do not think about the children in the middle. Or, or yeah, the child. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, and it really it really have a negative impact on me because I do not know how to be a primary a primary um a primary father. Mm -hmm. I'm just about mm -hmm. now if you start <laughs> you know, so some of the experience might be different from me. You know, yeah, you, yeah. you know, so so well, I got the chance again now to gather you know, best me now with a son here. Yeah, and this time yeah. around, it's going to be different. Nobody leaving nobody. No one not leaving. Nobody leaving. You sign a seal to the wife already. So yes, no man. Leaving. Yes, <laughs> man. And, and I yeah. said to myself, that, and, I, and I said to her, that anywhere I am going, my son is going with, with, with me. I know that yeah. not, not leaving each other. Mm -hmm. The three of us, the three of us are going to stick together. You yeah. know, and it really ripped my part, you know, brother, brother, oh God, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wasn't, the father was supposed to be to my, to my children, the two first one, you know, you know, Blackie was there and distance overseas, and I am here, you know, man, uh, children them grow apart, you know, you know that discipline that I supposed to ad um, ad 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 administer, you cannot be yeah. done over the phone because people listen to you over the phone and as the phone hang up, they go yeah, and <laughs> yeah, so you know, you know, yeah, so 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 I want to in interject here to say. We want to big up, um, while we live with fathers, we want to big up mothers who, yeah. who have allowed us to become fathers, right? Yes, man. Yes, yes. yes. We are, you know, we, we are together. It, 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 this is like a relationship, incestuous relationship. Yes. Where you can't be a father. You can't be a father without mother, right? That is true. So we want to big up all mothers who have allowed us to become fathers. Become fathers. All right, yeah. so, so, so Perry, who you deal with the two now? Uh, as I said, you are there from the beginning, you know, right? So how yes, you sir. deal with an adult um, son and a, and a, a, a in the middle go still going to high school, <laughs> and one in the middle going to primary school. How you balance the thing, you know? How you do it? Well, it 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 is it is it is tough in a sense, but as we say a while ago, we have to really give God thanks to the mothers because my wife also play a vital role. No, I understand that when I'm say, um, when I was young, say boys stick closer to their to their mother and and daughters stick closer to their to their father. I have experienced that for myself. Not to say that my sons do not, you know, you know tell me things as a father. Uh, we do not yeah. raise together, you know, yeah. man to man, you know, alone. But we reason a lot. My sons and I, we we, we reason a lot. Yes. Especially my 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 nineteen year old Isaiah, you know, watching yes. him grow up, you know, seeing him, you know, the changes and 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 stuff. 
I have to put it in my mind now. I say, boy, you know, when he was younger, I, I can't, I, I could say anything to him and, you know, probably talk to him in any way and make him know, say, yo, I'm here, the man of the house. Yeah, yeah. Going up on his 90 now, I have to be very, very careful and yes, recognize, yes. say, hey, well, this is a 19 year old. He can make decision for himself. Yes, yes. So yes. I hope that all the time I've spent with him and still spending with him, he can make a good decision and, and proper decision according to you know you know God's God's perfect will and God's perfect there. Yeah. Do not experience a lot of challenges with my with my big son. I can say after that. Um he's 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 the type of person who listens. You know, he even though sometimes you know really talk a lot, but he listens. He listens yeah. very well and he takes correction um very well. So um Definitely, after those, give God thanks. Right? And now, the most wonderful, he, he has given his life. It's about one year now, he has given his life, his, um, his heart to the Lord. So, and for that, I'm so grateful to God. You know, son, I'm so mm -hmm. grateful. And Matthew, who is the, 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 is, is, is the next one? The, mid, the middle the one. Yeah, Matthew is the, small, yeah, the, the, the middle one. The middle one. Um, he's totally two different persons. You know? Totally yeah. two different persons. One, one outspoken, Matthew is very outspoken. Matthew is the type of person who, when they say A, he will find out what B means. You now, you yeah. as a father now have to, to try to balance and say, hey, well, it's as different and Matthew is different. So it has to be different the way you approach the both of them. Exactly. Thank God for that. You know, I'm the type of person, we love the challenge. You know, sometimes we talk and, and Matthew, that's about B and thing. I can't say, well, Matthew. A, B, C, and D. But to think about it and him reason, reason about it and him to him mother and say, Mommy, A, B, C. And Mommy say, Well, that is a A, B, C. So, no, that, yeah. that, that, that's how you go. But yeah. I am so blessed. I'm so elated. God has been yeah. good to me and God has been yeah. good to my children. I can't complain. Indeed. And, and, and the daughter, you said the daughter stick close. So, the daughter, you... Yeah, my daughter stick, the daughter stick very, 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 very close. You know, as a little princess, she sticks very, very close. Mm -hmm. And she, she, she is very outspoken, very bright and very outspoken as well, too. Different, mm -hmm. yeah. different than the two boys, you know. I mean, yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm, I'm still in a learning mood or the learning process. I'm elated. Yeah, yeah. Well, good, good, good. So, so, so gentlemen, uh, you guys seem to be enjoying fatherhood. Is that a reasonable statement? Yes, man. That you enjoyed fatherhood. Yes, man. Yes, man. Enjoyed, man. Yes, man. Because, um, <laughs> Um, the mindset was there before, so when the oh. physical come along, agree with them. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's also see. so you know, Richard, so so you know, get sometimes you know, get frustrated, boss, as if you don't run away. Based on that, now I ask you a question, no? yeah. How do you treat with discipline? Because one of the things to realize, you know, is that, um, wait till the father comes. You know, some people consider that, you know, the mother that cut up the father, you know, the father, that father, the wicked one. So, you know, wait till him come. Or is it perhaps it's just a situation where, you know, she realizes that, boy, this is above her. So the father feels it, or vice versa. I don't know. So how you treat the discipline uh, as you discipline the, the children? Um, how you deal with that? And, oh, and, right. and also, a twin question also, how does your, your guys are, are Christians, right? Yes. How does your Christian you know, um, worldview. You are being a Christian. How does that impact upon how you father, you do fathering, and how you discipline? My brother, um, yeah. um, growing up, um, then, um, wasn't a Christian going to church. But you know, so the people who you grew up with, you know, whatever time you you <laughs> you do it, you wrong, you know. So big league, you can't get it you know. up. Yeah, man. Yeah, yes, yeah. man. So, uh, you know, as a very big league, and with, and with whatever they, 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 they have in their hand, whether that whether, whether cutlass, whether stone, whether steel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are, those are the type of discipline that, um, you know, we grew up as boy. I grew up as a boy, mm -hmm. you know, used to get because, you know, and we do things, you know, people yeah, talk yeah, to me and we're not here. And yes, yes, yes mm -hmm. man, grandmother talk, and, and probably um, some older parents, man. You know, but I'm talking about me, you know, that yeah, reach the stage now as a, um, as, a, um, as a father, you know, and, and you know, you read a lot and you hear a lot and you hear different pers perspective over the media, 
And so mm-hmm. you 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 kind of ingraft all them, but I use all method. But yeah, I don't yeah. abuse um my my I, I never used to abuse my two children. They get spanked okay. because yeah, we are some man. You have to mix up everything, man. Because okay. uh, you yeah. know, you have to mix up everything, man. And I reach the stage now, you know, as a as a Christian, you're disciplined with, with love. That uh, abuse that probably you normally used to in terms of reach out to you. You don't yeah. pass it on um, to, to, to your child or your children. You discipline it in a different way. You know, you know, you show mercy. You know, you tell them what they're gonna discipline them for. And sometimes, you know, I write after you, you know the discipline, you tell them what you know, you know this is why I discipline you. You understand me? Yeah, yeah. But boy, you do a more a different approach. Like you take a different approach. You know, everything boy, you take us up and move on and move from the sun, you know, you know, and do this. You you deal with things you can't take away uh, we take away or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. thing that he yeah, probably boy is tablet in order for no some boy and kill himself, give himself, you know. Okay, okay. yeah, man, you send in my room, you know. You say, mm-hmm. you say, look here, you say, after you done this, straight to your bed, you know. Yeah, and this yeah. is what we are sending you, you tablet for. But here comes the time mm-hmm. we have here, we have to use up the straps, you know. Um, up, up, yeah, up faster. So, I mean, you know, if, we, if you're the counselor and a, and a man out there, the majesty and thing, uh, we don't want to charge rich, you know, but I say, boy, you look strap and tight. Yeah, the, the good thing is that they're not interviewing me today. As a Christian man, how does that impact on your father? Or you do your father it? Um growing up the growing up in the in the in the inner city, um you see a lot of trouble. Mm. Well, you see my father a lot of trouble. Um and my mother a lot of trouble. So me used to get some good licking, Jamaican terms, some real good licking. Yeah. Yeah. My father, yeah. one time my father hold my money, man, give me some real good licking. Mm. Yeah. My mommy, my mommy really can't hold me too tough. But she will fling yeah. something. You know, I remember yeah. the last bus, I remember the last um lick my mother gave me out of the fight for last kid one Sunday afternoon, about 14 years of age. Just a Jeremy and come inside, come off of the road. Me and my brother, we are playing last kid. We eventually start cuss and we start fight. And the, you know, the, the, everybody hear the, 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 the argument and stuff and call my mother. And my mother just come at the fence and say, Yeah, hey, me tell us boy, you go long for come off of the road. By the time me look on so, I run off. All me know me just a piece of board, a, a, a swirl a come. Oh, yeah. And hit me, yeah, man, and hit me right in my head. And my head start bleed at the same time. And she see him on a turn around and dress it. That are comfort me. I said, look how long me tell if we come off of the road and thing. Nah, we used to get no flick. We used to get no flick. And now I become a father. Mm. I have realized and, under, and understand that my mother, my father correct me. Sometimes they correct me in some hard way. Give me some good lick. But now I understand as a father that sometimes children can't test your feet. Really test your feet and sometimes even want to dry out. As I mean, I talk about, but thank God for his goodness um, and thank him for not only for my father and my grandfather, but men at my church at 65 Walton Park Road. Who oh, they are real men who you can, you know, mm-hmm. reason with and talk with, and you know, yes. they have been down the road, you know, and give you and give you good, um, what do I call it now, good, um, good advice, you know, mm-hmm. how, to, how to deal with your children because you yourself have. I've seen their children, you know, them communicate mm-hmm. to them and them talking. So, you know, you ask questions and stuff. So, it also cool. helped me to demonstrate as a father. So, even when my father and my mother used to give me some good looking, it was only for my benefit. And my sons, them, Isaiah, sometimes we do a little thing. And sometimes we, we make him understand and, and give him some good look as well. Too, but me a butter bruise him and make blood yeah. spew and stuff like that. You know, I go for the belt and give him some good whopping. You know, much of the same thing. You know, much of a little bit stubborn, but we have to give much of some good looking sometime. Well, the daughter, yeah. she is nice. You know, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, talk to her and, 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 and she will understand. But I want to thank God that in, in, in spite of, you know, me get the licking and thing, you know, I was able to not only talk to my children, and not only beat them, but able to talk to them, express it in a way where I know, mean, I mean, I feel a true fist 
and draw for cutlass and cutlass and them things. Because truly, you know, God has transformed my life. And because of God's transformation, it also let me think different growing up in the inner city as a man. It's not, it's not what, what the inner city have taught you. You know, the way how to discipline your children. But God has shown you in his word how to discipline your children. You know, to not provoke your children to rot. Because they have feelings just like how you have feelings as well too. You know, Indeed. sometimes they get angry and sometimes they get mad. You know, but thank God also for the wife who sometimes come in at the maze and say, all right, nobody lick him no more. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. All right. yeah, so him get enough lick. Yeah. So God has been good and I am able to, 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 to convey my disapproval sometimes when I do something bad in, 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 a, in, a, in, a more, in a different way. Yeah, yeah. So, and for that, I'm, I'm, I'm great. Uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, and Rev, I just know I can't not agree with you. You know, you see the boy wife for the grace of God, the grace that yeah. um, that God did display to you, know, you know that well, you, have, you, you have done so many wrongs, yeah. you know, yeah. as a father, you know, and, and, and God has shown you the light and be merciful to you. You mm. tend to pass on that mercy to, to those yeah. that you are responsible for. Mm -hmm. you know, because um first Corinthians say, you know, about love, love is kind, love is yeah. patient. Yeah. You know what I mean? Love and love, love, love and you know, you know, and love is kind. So you have to show that kindness as a mm -hmm. Christian because you want them to model after the same when yeah. they become a parent. Yeah. You want them by to even it's better than you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So you know, you know, it's nice being a Christian and a, and a Christian father. You know, yeah. you don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. You treat um, the children them differently. Yeah, differently. differently than all the world would uh, admin. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, um, you know, do it's this. Yeah. It's interesting, gentlemen, because I think one of the bigger things about being a father is not just growing up with children. Is yeah. that um, you're looking at perhaps father and fathers, probably yeah. father and mothers too. <laughs> you know, because hopefully your children. Our children will become fathers and mothers too if we have daughters. So, yeah, so it's not just a parochial thing. It's not just something where it's for now. Yeah. It's something that is for the future. Yes, so, sir. so with that in mind, so I don't know. It is is as you father, it that's one of the considerations, one of the things you're thinking about. That one day, my boy, my little boy here today, my little daughter here today will be a, a mother one day, and my son will be a father one day. So in my fathering them you know i have to take them to consideration how i deal with them or treat with them you know that sort of thing are there some considerations that go to um in, in your mind perhaps or, or sometimes it might not in your mind but when you think about it when you finish it's about like, yeah perhaps that's what uh, you know, the lord has led me to do now what 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 are your thoughts on that? um um gentlemen um i have seen some um some father and son relationship or father and daughter relationship yeah and when you talk to uh, um, the, the children of that, um, of that father. Yeah. Um, some of them have this eight age against um, the, 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 the parent. You know, the parent. Because the, the, yeah, the father abused them. The father not treat them good. The father wasn't there. You know? So I don't want that type of memory. I don't want that, that type of legacy uh, to be left um, behind um, of me in terms of why, when my if my son come about now and uh, my other sons, other son and daughter, children, mm -hmm. they say, boy, boy, the father, father was not a good father. The father was an abusive father. The father was not a caring father. So you say, well, whatever you, you do now, you know, it yeah. play, play in your mind and say, boy, you want them to say, boy, yes, man. My father said, boy, grandfather was a nice man. Grandfather's turning you know? up. Grandfather is a good provider, a good protector. So you want that, um, Legacy um, to, to go on. So, boy, you have to treat um, the whosoever you, you have now as a, with a son, or, son or daughter, you know, with respect. Honor them. Show them where they go wrong and tell them, say, so look here, this is not right and this is what, I, what, what I'm doing for you, Lord, to get it right and get around. You know, so as the Bible says, you know, train up a child in the way that we should go, that later on he will not depart, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah. so you want to train up on this one good that means when he when his child or children come along, you know, the the discipline are the are, are the father who that you um pass on to that um son, it will replicate the, 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 down the road because that son will pass it on to their children 
and grandchildren. So, boy, you want that legacy? Generation, generation. Yes, man. Legacy. Yeah, man. And you want that good legacy to continue. You know, you don't want nobody to come and tell us, boy, your father did this and your father did that. Negative. Yeah. You want yeah. to know, say, boy, yeah. the grandson can't say, boy, I want to be like my grandfather. You know, yeah. Yeah. I heard yeah. about my grandfather. Yeah. Yes, yeah. man. Yes, yeah. yeah. so, you know, I'll just think down the road. I think we're away. Yes, yes, man. Yes, man. I, I, I am thinking we're ahead. And I think someone is thinking we're ahead. Of course, yes, you know? man. I, I, to, I totally, yes, totally, yes. I, totally agree with you. Um, mm -hmm. I am thinking further down. I'm thinking about the, the, about the future because, um, Growing up in the inner city, and even now, as you become a, as you become a father, you have seen a lot of broken relationship between children and parents. Mm -hmm. You know, bitter, very, very bitter relationship. And one of the things, as a Christian man, in my head, I want to be there for my children at all times. I want my children to understand that later down the line, as I always tell Matthew and Isaiah, that later down the line, you know, God's willing you to become a father as well too. And you're going to understand when you want to go somewhere and daddy and mommy look at you and tell you, boy, I don't feel you should go, I don't go today or tomorrow, I don't do this and don't do that. And sometimes them kind of feel how we are dropping and them shell are, you know, vex up, vex up. I say yeah. later down the line, you will understand why daddy and mommy said don't go there or don't do this today or don't do that tomorrow indeed i have put it in my head so you yeah, all want my children to follow after my footstep me tell them regularly i want you to follow my footstep as i follow christ i want you to follow me you know yes we are adult and, and i expect to express to them that you know we make mistakes sometimes even as as parents but that's the humanity. But thank God, God is there to help us. You know, when we drop, you know, we can get up and move on. So I want my children to become leaders of tomorrow. Me always tell them, say, boy, at all times, don't try to be a follower. Yes, you must follow Christ and things, but don't be a follower of the world. Because the world will lift you up and just drop you up on your face and run gone and left you. But follow me, follow me as your father. You know, follow your mother, see how we live, see how we do things. You know, so, I'm, so I put it in my head. So, boy, here, we am not going to only talk to my children. Uh, we, my wife and I, are not only going to talk to them, but we put our foot down and say, hey, well, we are going to try to mother Christ and live a life example that not only they will only listen to what we say, but practice you know what 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 we do and recently recently for our for last month my wife and i we celebrated our birthday and my two sons wrote me a long epistle and when i read that epistle it was it was it was it was moving you know it all it almost brought tears to my eyes yes, and now you that. understand that you know all the things you are teaching your children you know, it, it might seem to you like it now work, but in their heart, they are saying to you as a father, you know, daddy, thank you very much for the role you have played and still, you know, are playing now. Thank yeah, you for the many correction you have, you have given to us. We have learned a lot. You know, we have, we have done a lot of uh, bad stuff, but you never cease to, you know, correct us and, 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 and um, be dear for us. So those two epistles move my wife and myself. And I am privileged and I have a lot of faith in God and a lot of faith, not only in God, but around, but have faith in also my brothers and sisters who, you know, yeah. in my church and person who I surround myself with that they too will mm -hmm. also, you know, help me, you know, in, in bringing up my children that they may be leaders of tomorrow. Yeah, indeed. All right. So. So real talk now, real talk. I mean, you have been talking real talk about that, right? <laughs> so, you know, what is it that you hate most being a father? If any. <laughs> I, I will. I wouldn't have said, I wouldn't have said, yeah. That's a hard I, word. That's a hard yeah, word. Yeah, I would have I would have I know we're doing that, but. Yeah, but. I, yeah, 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 I would have said, yeah. Yeah. But my name is Challenging, challenging well, yeah. I feel. I feel I feel difficult part of it by sometimes why why you come in you know 
hard work from work, you know, and you want to buy yourself, you know, you don't go lay down, you know. You know, and the boy just want to ride you and come in and, you know, that's the time he want to play some ball and um, talk ball and he want to play a game and load the and thing because we have a load board and the drop and thing and sometimes it's a kill, you know. So, you know, but we have to try a ball. Sometimes we have to tell him the boy, later, yeah. later, daddy, daddy tired. And he must say, daddy, what I want to play, you know. So that is one. And next one, I, one again, he said, when you have to make some decision financially, you know, for yourself, but you have to think about the child first. Yeah. Yeah, you have to think about the child first and say, why? Well, I, I wanted a pair of shoes, and, but why? Well, you need a pair of shoes, you know. Yeah. So, why? Well, you know, that difficult choice, we have to make it yeah. now, put him, um, 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 put him, um, put him, put him first. You know, and then, and then, you say you have to deny, deny yourself um, a lot of other things. You know, because okay. I wanted boy, um, my son here, as well as um, some other, I know that. They yeah. must get boy, the best education because we want them to go further than us and, you know, grasp things quicker than, than us. Yes. So boy, we have to provide the, 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 the right place for them to go. Yes. And yeah. We, uh, yeah, and with whatever equipment that, 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 that they need, you know, whatever extra, you know, we have to, we have, we have to put it there, you know. So, um, yeah. in other words, so boy, you know, he ate what it. Difficult for, um, for from time to time because you have to make sure say, boy, the bills are paid. You know, you know, whatever boy, they, they ask for if it's in your, your 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 grass and you know that it is good. Yeah. You have to try and provide it because we have grown up um um not having so some things around us and we and we wish that um we used to have them. Yeah. That would make our life even much better. Yeah. You know that boy, you know, you have to make that hard choice. And say, boy, our oh, uh, my child or the children come first. You know, you know, it pain us sometimes because you know, you know, you want know, yeah. you know, have to see you, you are right, but you know, the children come come before you so why yeah, I say it's difficult, but it's easy for me. You know, yeah. it's easy so because why, you know, and them you, know, you are working yeah. for them and you yeah, know. No, yeah. Total total yeah. agree with you know, um so, so Michael, uh, so it 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 it, it, it is sometimes becomes it is difficult some of the time. And now I understand in the scripture when, when, when God said, boy, you know, children, honor your mother and father, oh, that yeah. the days may be long on the earth, and the days may be long on the earth, because it's a lot of sacrifice. Yes, As my brother have said a while, it's a lot yeah. of sacrifice. Um, sometimes sometime when you come in at even time, you, you just want to relax, but mm. you know, you have to help them with homework, you want to sleep in the night. Today was just not a, a good day at work. Yes. You know, you have to help them with homework, you have to help them with, with, with project and stuff. Mm. So it's a lot of sacrifice and sometimes it, 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 it becomes, it, it becomes difficult sometimes, overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, man. You know, even especially when, 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 when they are small, you know, just come out of the womb and a lot of crying. I mm. am here for my, I am here for my wife. <laughs> and even up to today, I am here. And we are a family. But imagine... A single mother by herself, you know, raising that child. You know, just come home from the hospital and there's no man in the house. You know, probably the father, you know, probably oversee that. Probably he's not there anymore in the picture or something sort there about. But she alone, after, you know, stay up with that child, you know, after, feed, after feeding the child, after birth the child and all those stuff. It, 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 it is hard. And for me, I am dear for my wife. Sometimes she wants to sleep and... You know, me have to take the baby, walk up and down and sing, sleep in my eyes. You know, I have to take the child and burp and all. so it can it it, it 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 is challenging. That's why I said earlier, it's not any man it, any man can be a father, but it's not every father can be a man. Mm -hmm. It takes a real man to really stand up and stick to the responsibility because it 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 it, it does not only bring joy, but it it sometimes it, it shows some some real heavy jobs and blow at you. You have to really mm -hmm. stand up and sight and say, boy, God, sometimes I feel like more, I say, yo, sometimes I feel like more, I run. You know, but, yes, man. you know, God says, son, stand up and, and hang in there. It's a great responsibility. And at the end of the day, you know, you're going to see the reward. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's tough. Mm -hmm. Financially, sometimes it may be very challenging as well, too, because sometimes you want a shirt, you want a pants, you know, wife want this and wife want that. But, at the end of the day, you have to think about the children. 
you know, them mm -hmm. go to college later on in life, you know, how can you balance, how can you put aside something? You know, it is very challenging, but in the midst of the, in the, midst of the difficulties, you know, it, 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 it is a good experience. Um, mm -hmm. Fatherhood is not something that you have a manual out there, so boy, this is it. Because mm -hmm. everybody's experience is, is totally different. Different, my yeah. experience different from Michael and your experience, um, my 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 brother Huggy. But in the midst of that, it, it it's a glorious it's a glorious opportunity to, to grow with them and experience the difficult times and the good times because good at, at the end of the day, it will work it. It will work it. it will I, work. And you really believe that? Yes, man. Yeah, because I've seen it. I've seen it in the life of others. Yes. You yes. Know, today, you know. They, 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 are, they are proud parent, parents mm -hmm. because their children have grown, they, they have passed on the best to their children and you have seen the fruits of, 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 of their labor. So it's, yeah. it's, 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 it can be difficult at times, but yet enjoying. Yeah. Yeah. That is really good. I mean, when, 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 we look, when I look at a you know, um, young man like you, Jeremy, and a little boy, still turn big man, turn father, turn oh, you know, married father and children yes. bigger adults, you know. You know that God is good. God is doing something. Oh, <laughs> yes, <man. laughs> definitely, definitely. I was going to ask you a question. I was going to ask you is whether or not you you are enjoying fatherhood. But for the most part, it seems as if you are enjoying yes, fatherhood. Yes, and gentlemen, yes, we, are, we are coming up to you know how time flies. I mean, yes, just yes. a little chat you have and like one hour, like it's one girl already. Yeah, you know, yeah. oh, right. <laughs> We want, we want to kind of, to, to, to kind of like, um, you know, just to look and summarize all that we have said, you know, the whole thing about father. So one of the things about father, the whole thing about being a father, is that we have to learn it from somewhere. Sometimes, you know, as we, we look in the past, we see how some fathers operate and we pick out some best practice. You know, for you, perhaps at your church, you see how some fathers operate. You, in, Mike, in the community, you see that. So it's, yes. it's very good to see to have models about the place. And what you are doing, you are doing now, you guys are creating models as well. So that mm -hmm. person coming along will see you and your sons who you have, you have, you have had. They, they are seeing you, see what, seeing what you have done, and they are modeling you and they are going out there to do that. And somebody will watch them too, you know, and, and, and the, the cycle continues. So it's very important what we are now. We continue to do it and we, we, do it, we, we continue to do it better. So as we learn, as we grow, we continue to, to do it better. Yes, so, yeah. gentlemen, I want to thank you. We want to thank you, you know, very, very much for really contenting to come and to have this chat with us. And, you know, we, we can not leave without even just reading a prayer. So, you know, uh, you know, so Jerry, I don't know if you'd want to just read a prayer. You, you can pray a two minutes prayer. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a two minutes prayer as we close. Yeah. Go ahead. Father, please. we just want to thank you this moment for who you are to us. You are great and you are greatly to be praised. Lord, you have given us the responsibility to father our children and to help to be a positive influence to other young men out there. And so we want to thank you this time that you have always been there for us as a good father. For you have created us in your own likeness and image and you have given us, Lord, your blessing and show us rain and blessing upon us. And so this moment, Father, as we pray, we lift others before you, men. You know that it is hard and it is tough. But Lord, we pray that you'll continue to strengthen men, that they might continue to be good fathers. We pray that those men who are weary, who are lacking in, in, in being there for their children, that you'll help them also to stand up, Lord, and to be there also for their children. Because we recognize that it's, it's, it's a real sacrifice but we understand that in the midst of the sacrifice, you are there to help us as men to, to play our role and to stand our ground, Lord, as real men of society. We pray that you'll continue to lead us as men. We pray that you'll continue to, to guide and, and protect us by your Holy Spirit. We pray that you'll continue to inspire us, Lord, as we look to you and look to others as role models who we can continue to model and to follow after. We thank you this moment for what you're about to do. And we thank you for strengthening us as fathers, as men, to stand up for what is right and true and to stand up for what is, is pure. Glorify your name again as we give a thanks. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Gentlemen, thank you. Conversations with fathers, real fathers, fathers 
that Jamaica can depend upon, fathers that the world can depend upon. And one of the main things are the drivers behind this is that these men have committed themselves to Christ and have allowed the Holy Spirit to work through them and in them in being the fathers that they ought to be. Gentlemen, I will put on my hat to take off my hat to you. Thanks very much and all the best to you. God You're bless welcome. You. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir, Michael. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Same to you. Yeah, man. Yeah, Thanks, man. gentlemen. Keep up okay. the good work. Thank you. Yeah, man. Bless you.